and stand in the corner, sir. <laughs> These are very sought after. Next year it is car time. What are you doing? Just clearing out a load of crap. Sheep hatch. <laughs> Sheep hatch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a driver, but yeah. this, this like toilet paper back in the day. This tastes like lamb cordial. And I can switch the car if I need to. <laughs> You're not doing that. No, no, I'm doing that. How do we know if they're real? I don't, I don't know. Who can, who can check Snow these trainers? Look at my beautiful Look at that. Incredible. Like the release off your head. Go off your office. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, my bro. Yes, exciting times. Very exciting times. So, hi guys. Welcome back to Yanni Monthly. And this is episode eight. I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button right now and then watch the video. Cheers. Today is shooting day. Uh, myself and Rue, you might recognise him from Lamborghini. I've been invited by Lador, who supplied me my prediction dog, to come down and do some crazy marksman shooting. I'm actually thinking of it like SWAT. Do you know when you watch SWAT and they're, they're on the floor and they do like long range shooting, like you see the cards, like a million miles when they shoot the cards, they play poker. I don't know if it's going to be that sort of level, but the guy that's training us is some extreme ex-marines ex and things like that so um, yeah it should be a good fun day so he says what are we going to do with you and under his breath he muttered we'll send you to the queen's company as the mascot with the big sheep hats sheep hats <laughs> sheep hats <laughs> camel hats i'd go and stand in the corner sir <laughs> sheep camel hats <laughs> camel they're, oh they're better aren't they they're best that's the one so the sheep hats <laughs> oh so you was one of those they sent me to the Queen's. They sent me to the Queen's company as a joke. They didn't know what to do with me. I still don't know vowels, nouns, consonants, and all, all those sort of things. So, pretty high-end military equipment. We're talking 8.6 millimeter in diameter for the bullet. So it will take a bloke out at 1300, 1350 meters. And the idea is that we we have to get a hit on all these targets in order. Before we go. So to yeah, so we'll shoot successfully hit target one, two, three, move on to four, five, six. I think there's eighteen. Right. Eight, yeah. one, eight, one. Honestly, the concentration levels that go into that, it's not a question of getting the crosshairs bang on in the middle. No, it's the breathing. It, you're yeah. so focused in your brain to kind of just stay there, everything's gone. I, I can guarantee you, I bet you, you wasn't thinking about anything else. Nothing. Nope, you was, your mind was totally clear. Switched off. It's a zen Nothing. moment. That's the only way I can describe it. You're not feeling pressure, are you? good? No, nah, not okay. at all. Right, so, so far, the door's been going first, followed by Rue, and then myself. How have we been doing so far? Well, so far, Yanni, absolutely awesome. Everyone's nailed it all the way out to what we've done. We just shot 406 meters. Which is now, number seven, yeah? Now we're gonna go for the 500. For you guys, you've never shot before. That is, that is phenomenal. Well, for us to go home today and you'd be like, wow, they were good for first timers. Where do you want us to be if hitting? I can get first timers novice hitting a 600 meter target, I am ecstatic. If we could do number 13, so anything 13 or above, you're signing us up. Absolutely. <laughs> 13 is the target, and I'm gonna protect the president. <laughs> Done deal. <laughs> we are three lit. Yeah. Hey, my guy. <laughs> Boom. Hit it. So to give you some idea of what we're doing today, we're shooting targets up to one mile away. The longest shot ever recorded was 2.2 miles. That bullet was probably in the air for a little more than 10 seconds. These targets were so far away, we could barely see them. What are we gonna go for now, 12? Oh, then like, can I play? Oh, you didn't go oh, yet. Yeah. Come on, Yanni. <laughs> oh, Daddy, can I play? You guys are like, can I play? I was getting excited for you all. Yes, Impact. right next door. We've hit 11, the target for us is 13 as a minimum. All right, so you're going 12 to 13, yeah? Yeah, I'll try find 12. All right, so the pressure's now on. The 12's got a little disc to the left of it. Don't take the piss and shoot the disc. 
It's a reel. Yeah. You, you know the little disc? Yeah. It's to the left on the floor. Yeah, go on then. But there's a tree block in it, but I think I'll get through it. Yes. yes! No yes. way! Six o'clock! Yeah. Well, six o'clock! Well, well, this! <laughs> six a, that's a disc about that thing! Is it? Seriously! Six o'clock about two inches Shut from the bottom! Shut the If you hit the 13, you impress, you impress the, um, the man. Just off. Right, just off, just off to the left. So he is human target then. And then Yes! Literally, yes. on the corner. On the corner, top left hand. Corner. You're aiming at 13, right? Yeah. Okay. I think you're Impact. The bottom. Yeah. That was virtually central. Impact. Right? Uh, Good shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, excellent. 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 So, you, smashed, you, you smashed the record, mate. I, have you ever seen any novices come and do this, mate? No, no, come on. No, no, this is, this is um, out. Mind you, you've got an outstanding guy pointing the right direction. You've got an outstanding firearm as well, but so you just took it all away from us. All, all, all the credit, all the credit to win. Well done, guys. But you've got an outstanding guy, you've got it right. Outstanding field. That's it. All you had to do was push the button. To be fair. <laughs> Boom! Impact! Yeah, <laughs> so there it is. That is a wrap. Today we've all done incredibly well, but you gotta give it to Lador in you. Lador, champion. And the win just pop. And the win, yeah, the, the win the win was in his favour to be honest. We'll be but back. we'll be back. Lador, Lador wins today. Me and Rue would join second, uh, which is first of the losers. Um, <laughs> just put it out there. <laughs> so we're heading back to London, Lador's heading back to the dog life and um, We'll be back, but I hope you enjoyed this section. Cheers, guys. So another day at Carwell, usually once a month, twice a month, I'm here shooting with my friend Matt Watson, as you all know who he is. Uh, the audio right now was unusable because it was so, so windy, but I did manage to film a helicopter flying. I think there was a couple of them going back and forth because we were at a army barracks. And I also got Matt's reaction to last month's Shani Monthly when he was trying to drift that Porsche very, very badly. Anything you want to say after your last phone oh, no, I'll put it on my video and they weren't impressed. No, I did say, please don't put that in because everyone will think I'm a really <laughs> driver, but you want to put it in. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to blow that. <laughs> so we've had a delivery come. I did get a DM the other day on my Instagram saying, would you like some of these? And I was like, I'm going to say no. So the delivery's turned up. It says fragile liquid, so it's a, it's a liquid product. And as we open it up, these are very sought after. Oh, hello, hello, Prime. Hello, Prime. Jeez. But yeah, shout out Prime, shout out KSI, shout out Logan Paul. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, we've done actually a Prime vehicle for Cal Freezy. Click here to see that. You want one, Andrew? Yes, please. There's lemon and lime, which is the green. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is ice pop. Ooh. Ooh. I'll go for ice pop, please. Ice pop. Justin, right, mate. do you want lemon and lime or do you want ice pop? I know you're a proper Sideman fanboy. If you don't know, check Justin out here where he was in the Virgin video. You do like a press up or something? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Allow me. And then, and then, check Justin here when he's in KSI's hamster that died video. You got this. <laughs> and Allow me again. Sideman fanboy, proper. What would you like, the lemon wine or the ice pop? Ice pop, please. Okay, so one ice pop for you. Can yes. you give that to Andrew, please? Yes. Gussie, yes. lemon lime or ice pop? <laughs> Gussie? Gus just said you. Mama's moving fast. Mama's moving fast. I've never seen Gus like that. Gus, I've never seen you move that quick, bro. Yeah. What would you like, sir? Uh, I'm curious to try this one. Please. Say, I'm going for the ice pop. Is that good? That's good, man. It's so cold. sweet, and I like sweet, but it's it's so over the top sweet. But it's so. But what's sweet is everything's zero. Yeah, that's nice, man. Yeah, I've seen a few videos like Logan Paul where they where they speak about the product, and they say they don't just bamboozle them with sugar or like products that make it sweet. So. All right, try it then, and then and then you're gonna be like, really? 
Oh, that is sweet, but that is lovely. It's nice. If, it is hel- if it's as healthy as a steak, and they've captured that amount of sweetness, mm-mm-mm. And it's great that it's sold out. Yeah, yeah everywhere. If it's so healthy, it's well, great it's sold out. KSI posted the other day that Asda was saying only three per person. Yeah. This is this, like toilet paper back in the day. Yeah. Like oh, back in the days, back in the COVID days, yeah. These these are just the new toilet paper and pasta. Yeah. Do you want a prime bottle? Have you tried prime before? Okay. Andy, come on, what you want as well? Because your brother is like, give you one of each, then you can just try one each. Thank you. Well, they're so good. That's fine. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Prime. So good. Oh, he shakes it, he shakes it. It's actually quite decent. Describe it in one word. Refreshing. Very nice. Ten ten. Did you say one word? (laughs) Very nice two words. What word do you use? Ten ten. Ten ten. (laughs) Ten. (laughs) Sweet. Whoa. Whoa. How long I've been trying to get my hands on this for a reasonable price? Describe it in one word. What's your word? Is this, right. is this boom? You don't like it? It's alright, you can be honest. What's wrong with it? This tastes like lime cordial, so it's just very watered down. That's so what's your one word? It's alright. That's two words. Alright. <laughs> it's alright. Okay. Alright and boom. It's not juice, it's a hydration drink. Shut up, bro. If it was cold, it'd be better. I'm gonna put this bottle on the shelf in my room. Mmm. Very nice. One word! <laughs> One word! What is up with people? Nice. I think it's well nice. Nice. Okay, cool. While we're in here, let me quick show you my car. So, what happened was we had a customer um, had his car booked here. I'm not going to say what car it was. Came from a dealer. Had an issue, so I had to go back. Um, which meant we had a slot for Salvatore. So I was like, you know what? I should put my car in. So I turned my car into Carpathian Grey. Um, and there it is. That's the original colour. The original gloss. Stealth PPF. Um, which is very nice, um, but what we're doing is we're just gonna do this for now. I'll run it as stealth PPF, and then when I want to do a color like a green or an orange or a, a blue or a yellow, I will just put it the wrap over the top. But at least it's car packing gray, but nice, eh? Good man, good man, yourself. good man. Cheers, sorry. So. At home, Nicholas is here. Hello. Brought some of these prime bottles back. In one word, let me know how you describe it in one word. Best one. Huh? Best one. Best one, in one word. Best. (laughs) Is that your favorite? Okay, so Andreas is here now. All right, so you've had, how many have you had? I've had the blue one, the green one, the red one. Okay, so what's this? The ice pot one? Ice pot one, yeah. All right, so let's try the ice pot one. Let's see. So far, the red one's the best. Right, describe red it one. in one word. One word? One word. Hopefully, it's nothing bad. Sweet. Okay, at least he described it in one word. Do you know how many people I've said describe it in one word? He said like a full sentence. And, it, and Nicholas and a load of other people. They do two but words. But do you know what? It, I want to say something else. else. But do you know what it does taste like? It tastes li- literally the same as the red one, with a tiny bit more sweet. But they, this one looks the best of all of them, in my opinion. It does look the best. This one and then the newer one, I don't know what it's called though, like the purpley one. Can we, can we just talk about my son's beard? It's bigger than yours, look at Look at look at this, look at, look at this. Oh my God, it's not, it's not even bum fluff, that is, that is beard levels 10. He's had his birthday now, so he just turned 16. Next year, it is car time. First car, what are you saying? Maybe if you're not dribbling. Golf TSI. Golf TSI, I gotta insure it. Yeah, 1.4. 1.4, yeah? Yeah. I get you one litre. <laughs> what, do you, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? What do you reckon a good first car? Low on insurance. I think I've got low, 2018. Low litre. Um, Cause you know you're going to bump it around. You're going to hit the wheels. You're going to like... A, a Golf TSI 2018 is a 1.4. And you said a 1.4, you can get a Jordan. You said a 1.4. Is there anything uh, below yeah, a 1.6? Are we going to put, put a black box in your car? Yeah, for the first year, so my insurance drops when I get one. Yeah, for the black box then. And also, I'll put my own trackers on it, so you know, like, if it accelerates too fast or it brakes too heavy, I get a notification no, on my no, phone. No, 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 
And I can switch the car if I need to. No, you're not doing that. No, I'm doing that. <laughs> well, I'm a good driver. Okay, we're going to see if you're a good driver. We're going to well, find out. Anyway, we'll go over to the shout. I'll see you later. And we're back in the unit for Yanni Monthly. What are you doing? I'm um, just clearing out a load of crap. Just got crap everywhere going through the cupboards. Santa Cats for Lamborghini. Clothes, just rubbish everywhere that I just need to deal with. Uh, I need to find my plate, I've got that plate as well. But I don't know where the retention document is, I'm trying to find it. Uh, throwing out these plates. Just clear out. I want to change my office around, so I need to get rid of all the crap first. I've got to skip outside, chat Asheville. If you want to see what's going on with the unit, you can click here, you can see that uh, right now. But yeah, it's exciting times, very exciting times. Yeah, when you're clearing out stuff, you just find all old pictures of your cars. So before all the Lambos and everything. It's all BM, so I was always the BM man. The BM oh. man. And what's even funnier is, this is Instagram. <laughs> yeah, this, this, is, this is Instagram in my generation. Yeah, this is true, this is Instagram. Because technically you're taking pictures for no wow. reason. Just yeah, yeah, just to uh, <laughs> document. They're all clean as well. <laughs> yeah, I am always clean. Oh, Range clean. Rover. That's my mom's house. The classic, the original Range Rover. Anyway, I'm just still clearing out. You can you can zoom in and show them. Oh, this Whoosh. was the daddy back in the day. Is your BBM? Send me a BBM. Come on. That's it. Send me your pin, not your BBM. Yeah, your sure. pin. So today is meeting day, heading to the BBC. So I'm meeting my manager Neil from Insanity. This is the building. Oh look, there he is over there. Look, he looks like um, either Chris Evans or Eddie the Eagle Edwards or the Milky Bar Kid. There's the boy, there's the Back boy. To my channel. Today we're <laughs> hey going to do a, What's that in? a life with Neil. So I'm going to have to say bye to you now because I've got to go in and have a meeting. But I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. So we're back for season two. We're parking over there of How We Hustle with me, Yanni. This is where we are, the Vox Pod Studios. So season one, done really well on BBC Sounds. So they've given us season two we are back with season two of my podcast how we hustle with me yanni on bbc sounds and wherever you download your podcasts here's some highlights from season one i can honestly say that i could quit everything today and pay off my whole house why do we have to work hard for money why can't we work smart for money i literally wake up in my flat and my friends with me my phone is going off like crazy and I go on Instagram and he's tagged me in the, the tour fly. And I was like, oh, shoot, like I'm going on tour with Drake. That's crazy. I remember when we launched it and we had a hundred bags. Ask Cam, <laughs> is that even? The Cam's in the back, is going to be laughing. We launched it, it's like, OK, cool. Should we do a hundred bags for the uh, for the first launch? We did the post. Bro, 3,000 orders. <laughs> oh my God. And I started making money, bro. And I couldn't believe you could. Like, I didn't know you could make money from YouTube until then. 2012. I went from no money a month. And let's not get it twisted. People don't understand. 2012 is early. That's early days of, YouTube. of YouTube. Yeah, 100%. When I was coming up in the game, it was like, look, you're too big to play football. You ain't going to make it. But 22 years later, over 250 goals later, like, who was right, who was wrong? You get what I'm saying? Music helped change my life. And then Emmanuel Frimpong getting involved with Dench with me opened me up to an audience that like, I probably couldn't reach just by my music. Over the years, I've taken it upon myself to actively study videos that have gone viral and question and look for reasons why. Remember, season two kicks off Thursday, the 3rd of November, How We Hustle with me, Yanni, on BBC Sounds and wherever you download your podcasts. Make sure you check it out and I hope you enjoy. But next time you see what he, lo he loves being on camera, this man. He loves it. Getting on Yanni monthly. He loves it. He loves it. He, he got a little shot on T-Mate and then he loved life. <laughs> Love life.
Loving life right now. So we're back at Vox Pod. Waiting for my guest, who's going to appear there very shortly. And it is this man. So Tom has turned up, um, I put on my social media, so it was both my boys' birthdays, one's on the 31st of August, the other one's on the 30th of September, and they both want your trainers. The problem is, when you want trainers, it's trying to find them. And you want a specific trainer in a size 12, and Nicholas wanted a specific trainer in a size 9, I'm just like, brutal. Stuck it online, and to be fair, loads of people message me, loads of people, loads of people, loads of people, I can get them, I can get them, I can get them, and you're like... Yeah, I don't know, do I trust them? And they're like, you need to send me the money first. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Um, just because I don't know who they are. And Tom was like, listen, I live in Bournemouth. Yeah. And he was like, I can get them for you, stand on me. So I'm like, okay, cool, I'll wait for you. And I said, but I'm not paying for this. And he was like, no problem. When I come, you can pay me when I come. Like you yeah. said, um, what's your company? Uh, Luxury by TV. Okay, I haven't even seen them. So let's see, let's yeah, see. Let's Andrew see. or Nicholas's one? You don't even know which is my son. This is the black canvas. Right, so this, is, this is Andrew. So Andrew's a size 12. He's about my height now, <laughs> 16. And... Oh. <laughs> How big are they? How big are they? My God. Are they real? Are they, how do we know if they're real? I don't, I don't know who can, who can check Smell the trainers. Test. Huh? Smell test. Smell the sniff test. Yeah. You know, like, fat Joe. Okay, so that was what Andrew wanted, size 12. Um, I'm a size 10, luckily, so um, I don't have to wear these big shoes, but okay. All right. How do people check if they're real, by the way? Um, to be fair, I'm, I'm wearing a pair of joints which I know are real, so. No toxic smells. Yeah? Yeah, that's a big one. Is that what it is? Because obviously boxes, people can get boxes and stuff like that, yeah? Oh, look, see, look. Brand everything. See this guy, look. Brand everything. Genius. Okay, so that was Andrew's one. So what's interesting is, before I show you Nicholas's, so if you look at that, yeah, my, mine's quite battered now. Look what he's wearing. Okay, he's a fresh. Ish. <laughs> and these are even fresher. Wow. Are these are nines? Yeah. Okay, fine. So my, hold on. So my 12 year old's a nine, he's like an eight and a half. My 16 year old's a 12. I'm old and I've got a 10. What size are you? Uh, eight and a half. How tall are you? Six, one, six, two on a good day. Really? You've got a small feet yeah. for your height. <laughs> but yeah, he's come through. I assume they're real. You know what? Even if they're not real, we're going to expose him. Because you know when you put these things up and you show people, they'll be like, Yanni, they're not real. I can see something different here. I can see something different there. But. A man of his word. He said to me, Jan, I'll come and see you on Thursday. I'll bring you both your son's trainers and you can get paid today then. That's brilliant. Nice. So today is our friend Babs and Venetia's wedding. So we are coming as traditional, um, traditional, we're traditional. We're traditional. So I've got my turban. My wife's got her beautiful dress. Linga. Linga. Um, yeah, a lot of people have been talking to me in Punjabi. Yeah, I think. Not I me. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to enjoy the wedding. Okay, there's the man. It's his wedding. This on Yanni Monthly. You're on Yanni Monthly. My wife's there. Look at my wife. How beautiful she looks. Look at that. 
Incredible, incredible. Yeah, we're, we're all in. Oh, hold on, let's, let's get the, let's get the wife, the, the new wife. There she is. There's Venetia. Look at her. <laughs> yeah. So today, um, today I'm going to be bad. What do we think? Does it, does it suit me? Does it look good? Anyway, yes. Yeah, so wedding today, day two of the wedding. When you do a seat wedding, it is daily, 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 daily. Um, but yeah. So. Um, Seek wedding. Never been to one before. Obviously, I'm Greek, so we do it differently. It's really cool, especially when it's your good, good friend. My wife was best woman as well for Babs and Venetia. They came, they, they put the turban on. I've taken it off now, so it's, it's a little bit looser. Um, but yeah, it goes on very, very tight. It's weird because it actually feels heavy eventually. When you take it off, you're like, like the release comes off your head. Um, gotta respect them the way they wear it all the time. But it was, it was a good wedding, really, really nice, good people. Yeah, it was interesting being in being in the, the temple and then you have like the main part and the bride and groom, they walk around four times. And obviously when you walk in, you've got to put your head to the floor, like, like, a, like, like a probably respect. And um, yeah, it, it was different, but it's cool. I like, I like to see different cultures and see what it's like. And it was, it was nice. So here we go again, another change of outfit. We've changed from our, um, our Sikh outfits, no more turban. Going for the, the jacket, the t-shirt. Now you'll see obviously a bit later on. But yeah, now back to the house for the second. So we had the first Third. night on the Tuesday. Third event. Then the second one was the temple. Today. Third event is this evening. And then Saturday's the big party. So yes, um, yeah, they, they go in, they go in. Uh, so I'll show you around, there's no one here yet, so let's have a look. So, day three of Babs and Venetia's wedding. The wife's there looking incredible. I don't know how well you can see her. We're at the Rosewood Hotel. This is where it is tonight. Yeah, um, Sikhs, Punjabis, they um, know how to party. A three day wedding. We're gonna party. STOs. That's what I'm talking about. Interesting white defenders over there. White defender? I'm tempted to do a white defender. It does look quite good. Had an incredible time at Babs and Venetia's wedding. Um, great people, good energy, incredible wedding, um, and the Sikhs do it big, that's for sure. Congratulations to you both guys. And it was a great experience for me to embrace a different culture. So thanks to Babs and Venetia and congrats again. So I had a friend of mine's nephew come down to Yanomai's. We don't usually um, allow people to walk around Yanomai's. I only usually do it for rays of sunshine when I'm granting wishes. But she did ask me and the young man was a serious Yanomai's fan. He seemed to enjoy it a lot. It was great talking to him and I'm pleased that he managed to get to start a couple of cars and enjoy his time at Yanomai's. He's definitely car mad, that's for sure. Let's go upstairs, I'll show you upstairs. This is like Stormzy, like the singer, the rapper. Yeah. Um, it depends who you know. It depends who you know, but these are like all famous people on the walls. It's famous from people, so. Nice. YouTubers, football players, boxers, <laughs> cars, car wow. Yeah. Matt Watson. Nice, Matt, yeah. I love Matt. Where, where is he? He's filming today. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Fine, you? Good. <laughs> this is my office. Do you want to sit at my desk? Go sit at my desk. That's, my, that's where I sit. So you're the boss now. You can tell people what to do. Yeah. Yeah? Um, go to your office. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't got their office. You're the boss, you've got the office. <laughs> yeah. They don't have an office. Do you want a drink? No. Do you want a water or anything? Okay. Yeah. Do you want a drink or anything? No, I'm good. Thank sure, you. yeah, yeah. Okay. Who's, whose car is that? 
on the mirror. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just someone that's just done pictures for us on the mirror and stuff. You know, no YouTube, I saw you, you driving a Porsche 911. Yeah, do you like that car? Turbo S, is it quick? Very fast. Por- Porsche Turbo is really, really fast, one of the fastest cars. Uh, when's your birthday? Uh, um, is 40th of November. Okay, 50s, what do you want for your birthday? A Lambo, a real life. A real life yeah, Lambo? Real life. I don't know many kids at 15 get a Lambo, even at 17. You're gonna have to work really hard to buy yourself a Lambo. Yeah. I really want to go and see that Nismo. That Nismo. That's fine, I'll, I'll take you. There's no problem, we're here. We've got time. Come on. You want to go now? Yeah. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> right, what's that car? Lambo. What's that car? A, a GTR. Okay, what's that car? A Rolls Royce. Okay. A Pagani. Uh, yes, he's a Pagani, very good. Mercedes, AMG. Jesus, everyone, everyone on the button. Loud. Yeah, I know it's loud. Mm-hmm. It's mad loud. It's crazy loud. Yeah. See, look, you look, look, stand back. Stand here, look. You see yourself, look. Yeah. The way you look. That looks like a mirror. Like yeah. a blue mirror. Yeah. Good, eh? Yeah. It's BMW M3, it's the M3. M3 competition, yeah. What colour is this? It's quite horrible, but grey. I don't like the grill. You don't like the grey? You don't like the grill? A lot of people say to me they don't like the grills, they're too big. Don't they? Yes. They're too big for you? Mm hmm. Why? I don't like it, is it just like? Is it's 2023. No, it's not, it's uh 1920s just because it reads, it reads Andreas. That's what it reads, it reads the name on it. It's it's quite it's quite nice, I like the Andrew's car. You like Andrew's car? It's a nice car in it. It's like a grey, like nice grey, good number plate. Um, look at the interior, look at the interior, orange interior. Look at the interior. It's, it's orange, nice. right? Uh, yeah, orange, see. Like with the big bucket seats and stuff. Who's running this? My bad. Uh, um. I got the key. It's old. It's my new as well. Yeah, exactly. Oh, very good. Well spoiled. Cheers, man. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Annie. That's okay, my bro. I'm glad you come. Yeah, it's always nice to do these things. It's always nice for people to come down and check it out. He was excited, let him start a couple of cars, and hopefully he'll remember that. So, uh, yeah, it's cool, it's cool, anyway. So that was the end of episode eight. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what else you'd like to see, but next month, it's gonna be a big, big video. Anyway, I'll see you next month, guys. And don't forget, please subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.